here, right, on the S23 Ultra, and this is going to be the second thing, I'm going to show you how to install it, because a lot of users are reporting to have experienced some issues with this. So the first thing we need to make sure is back up our home setting. I'm going to show you how that's done. Install it, right? Right now it's only running on my S24 Ultra, and then... The topic number two in the video is going to be testing it also on the S23 Ultra, all right? But please beware. Some people are reporting some issues with S23 Ultra. Most of the people, even with the S23 Ultra and S22 and 21, they're using it still fine. But for some people, some things are not working, like, for example, the Smart Select and etc. So just proceed with some caveats. And first things first, I'm using it already since yesterday. So this is here, the latest one UI home launcher and right now guys i am going to test it on the s24 ultra so i'm going to remove the s23 ultra to lift space only for the main star and we're going to proceed with testing so i did not restart my phone i did not clear any of my notifications this is absolutely my daily driver i want to show you really how it behaves with what i have right now okay so the first thing i'm going to start is this animation why? Because, you know, Samsung Day Face 3, which is animation, this animation isn't working flawlessly all the time. I do believe that with One UI 6 in general, they really fixed it, okay? So, and I'm always testing this in both months, right? Landscape and also of the vertical. It's very important to check also this transition. One more time. Feels nice. No stutter whatsoever. Now I want to test this animation here, all right? Yeah, you see, it's not ideal. It's not ideal. It could be smoother, all right, but it is what it is. I'm not sure why um, this is like this. A lot of big promises are made with all the leaks that we see from One UI 7, so I really hope that One UI 7 is going to be the real thing. Now, with that out of the picture, I'm going to show you here the quick settings. All right, everything nice and smooth. I can go here and try to edit some things. Not a problem at all. Here, notifications. Alright. Just removing, swiping left and right will get those notifications out of the picture. And if I go to the left, I'm going to invoke wall now. All right. So this is the main operations. So we can also check the blur. If I just gently scroll down like this. Alright. Blur nicely applied. No issues with this as well. Alright. This is me juggling through my home screens. Okay, you can also try to do it like this. Not a problem at all. This is me going inside the app drawer. So I have personal and also work apps. The search box. So let's just go and type settings. All right. I'm going to go inside the settings. Not a problem at all. Everything really looks quite nice. Feels quite nice. No big issues. And now, guys, before I proceed with the follow opening and closing and with the most important thing, which is the app animations and transitions, I'm going to start to test the widgets. So this is the weather widget. A very smooth animations. But this was also the case with the previous version. What I like in particular with One UI 6.1 is the zoom in and zoom out of the wallpaper. Really, this is just amazing. I'm not sure even why I like it so much that it feels very, very suitable for my taste. Okay, so the weather widget works quite nice. But let's try to taste Spotify, guys, because Spotify has a history. All right. All right, now I'm going to open Spotify. You see? Spotify, like I said, has a history now. The closing of the widget works. Sometimes it just closes abruptly like this. And I don't think it's a Samsung issue. It could as well be Spotify issue. Not sure really. But else, yeah, when it works, it works quite nice. All right. And now I'm going to go back to my home screen, guys. I'm going to show you the recent menu. A lot of applications here. I'm not closing on anything. I want to also show you on my memory allocation. So for that, I'm going inside the developer's options. The average memory is 7.7, .7. performance is normal. What I'm also going to do for this video, guys, I'm going to show the refresh rate, which is an option that you can switch on from the developer settings. Why? Well, right now I can see uh, that the screen of the S24 Ultra drops to 24 hertz. The moment I slightly touch it, it is 120, all right? And you can see really it's very, very sensitive, okay, which, which is actually good. And this is important why? Because the moment I open the camera, it will lock it down to 60 hertz. So the viewfinder always works with 60 hertz. And this is why sometimes you might have some issues. But anyway, now opening the camera, closing the camera, going through all the modes, feels very natural. 
no issues whatsoever. Now, let me try to open the applications that I use in general. So I'm going to start with this folder here. All right, see, folder animations also very smooth. I'm going to open Telegram. Not a problem at all. I'm going to open the Messenger. Not a problem at all as well. Facebook. All right. Now I'm going to show you X. Okay, going outside. And now, guys, I want to share something that I think is important. Now, when I open Instagram, you know, browsing is nice. It's using 120 hertz. The moment I go to the left, boom, see that this transition here, like from 120 hertz to 60 hertz, isn't great. And um, this works better on other phones. So I really hope that Samsung can fix it. Also, when you go outside, sometimes outside of Instagram, specifically from this mode, right, going back from 60 to 120, you might end up with having some choppy animations. But so far, I do believe that this latest uh, version of the One Year Home Loan Trip works quite nice. And now, guys, I want to try to do a bit more of extreme testing animations where I'm going to start something and stop it just to show you right, how smooth it is or not smooth. Okay, so let's start with this one here. All right, this is the regular animation. And now, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to start and stop it. All right. Okay, now I'm going to try to do the same in gallery. This is my gallery. I can see I have 7,000 pictures, guys, all right? So I don't expect really this not to lack. Okay, by the way, uh, I don't want this to be a placebo, but since yesterday, I also have a feeling that this launcher is getting things uh, smoother than the previous. All right, see? Now I've opened my photos. All right. And it's still quite nice. And And by the way, I have a feeling that I'm not able to really... Time the closing of the animation. So I'm going to open and close it very quickly. All right. Again, it is not non-linear, so I would expect this to be even smoother. And hopefully in one year seven, this is going to be the case. But overall, you can see from this test, right, that this performs better. Or at least this is how I want it to be. All right. So what I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm going to go inside Telegram. I'm going to access my save messages. And I'm going to try to upload some videos and photos uh, do that because this thing here just along this action opening this menu here and trying to share a picture was laggy not all the time but most of the times i was using it on the previous launcher and this was an idea all right i'll just go back inside um, this menu here and right now i really have a feeling that they really optimized the animations again it might also be placebo i hope that's not the case but what i'm going to do right now guys i'm going to put the s24 here and show you how the s23 ultra behaves without the update then i'm going to show you really how i am able to install the update right and see by the way i'm not able to close the animation so smooth as i managed to do so here with the s24 ultra one more time see immediately trying to close it down yeah, see, it's not so smooth. I think it will not register like all my moves all the time. And again, this requires really some very nice timing. It's all right, but you can see how it works here. And this is here without the update. Again, it might also be placebo, guys. A lot of people are saying, hey, you know, it's very smooth. I'm so happy. But in the end of the day, I'm here to test it and give you my final opinion. So again, I'm going to try to just try to close it down. Now let's try to do this on the settings because the settings is a standard menu, all right? So I'm going to start it and immediately try to stop it. Okay. Honestly, I do believe this is almost quite the same. All right. So maybe some optimizations here and there with the micro status, but I don't think that the animations are different, okay? So, I'm gonna do now a comparison Y by one. This is the latest launcher here, and this is uh, the previous one, so I'm gonna open the store, all right? And um, let's just open the folder, close the folder. Again, new version, old version, I'm gonna open Telegram, pretty same stuff, all right? I'm gonna open now X, seems to be pretty, pretty same, even I think the S24 Ultra lagged a bit. Going outside, now again, I'm going to try to do this stand here with starting and closing it. So honestly, it is absolutely the same. I just hope that the consistency is improved, which means that hopefully when you do something 100 times, any times going to be perfect. Guys, now, the point number three is to show you how to install it. But first things first, because on the S23 Ultra, you might have some issues. Make sure to back up your home setup. So go inside the settings. Scroll down until you find accounts and backup, backup data, right? Inside the backup data, guys, you should click here, the home screen, and then click this button. 
because on the S23 order, some people reported that they have some issues. Okay. Now, I don't want to all back up the application, so I'm going to stop it. Okay. The home screen has been back up. And guys, now what you need to do, just install the APK. You can download it from the APK mirror. So I'm just going to install it like this. Do you want to update this application? I'm going to hit update. And now, guys, I'm going to be testing in real time with you what is going to happen right now my launcher. Boom, we started. All right. Let's go. Oh, my God. This is it, guys. One option is now to go inside the storage and clear cache, clear data. All right. And now, guys, it will restart the launcher, but boom, all your settings are gone. Okay, but now at least the launcher works. So how do we confirm we have the latest version? It's 155031. It's the same. And now, in my case, right, I should be able, hopefully, to restore my settings. So how does it work? I'm going to go against to accounts and backup. Right? I'm going to click restore data. And hopefully, guys, I'm going to be able to restore here my home screen. I'm going to hit install here. Restoring my home screen. So now if everything works correctly, guys, I should end up with having something like this. All right. Right now, if you ask me, don't do this on the S23 Ultra. A lot of people, again, are reporting no issues whatsoever. But as you can see also in my video test, yeah, it really crashed. So I had to clear the data in the cache. So most of all, this version is optimized uh, for uh, S24 Ultra and onwards. Most probably no coding to the 40 S23 Ultra. On Twitter, I saw on X, there were some people running it also on S21 FE. So it should be, should be running, right? But again, the whole question is, yeah, well, is it really smooth enough, right? Is it really better? And right now from 12 hours of use, I think that I really am able to tell you that the consistency is a bit improved. The only issue that I have is it's really, even if that's true, it's so tiny, guys, that is within the margin of error within the placebo. So right now, I'm not able to say, yes, it's 100% better. People are on X are saying, yeah, you know, it's better. It's, I cannot really confirm, right? Why? Okay. Here, very nice. Everything restored, which is good because now I have everything like it used to be, right? Let's try to test here the widget information. All right, so that's the weather. Okay, going out, going in. All right. Seems okay. Right now, guys, if I need to 100% confirm that it's better, I cannot put my name and sign this. Because even if that's true, it is so small that it's absolutely within the margin of error or within what one might call placebo, guys. So is it really quicker? Let's see now. I install it on my S23 Ultra. Okay. Edge panel, by the way. Let's try to see if edge panel works. Edge panel works on my S. 24 ultra all right um they might also work here so let's start this combination all right and if you want to try it again make sure to first back your data up and now guys let's see if i am able to just do what i did on my s24 ultra here all right so this is the only thing guys that i believe is a bit better right but again because this requires very nice timing it could also be that it's the same this is why i don't want to really carve this in store and say hey it's 100 better I think it's better again, but this improvement is so small, right? I'm not carving this into a stone. I'm not really signing this with blood. But overall, my feeling is, yep, now it seems that I'm able to start an animation and immediately try to stop it. And I have a feeling that with the previous version, right, this wasn't exactly the case. So most probably it is better, right? Just by a tiny bit. And my only hope is that it's going to get even better with One UI 7. The hopes are high, but we have been playing this game since, yeah, some years already. So let's try to manage our expectations in the best possible way to not be disappointed after. And if you like videos like this, guys, you know what to do. Thank you so much. Stay safe. 